a few months ago, the designer Remy Gruber reached out to us to let us know that there was a digital version of Herald in the works that would be published by Asmodee Digital, and now it's here. It seems like these games are coming hot and heavy from Asmodee, and in this case, it might have even taken them by surprise, but you can pick up Herald today, so let's take a look. In Herald, you represent a rivaling animal kingdom trying to gain the most influence. You do this by playing cards both into the King's Council, which determines and is shared by everybody, and your village, which is kind of your hand and your tableau that you're building. The combinations of these cards determine how much uh, prestige you make, and this prestige determines who's the winner of the game. So your goal again is to get as much prestige as possible by playing these cards, using their abilities, and taking advantage of their combinations. At the end of the game, your score is calculated both based upon the cards that you played and their value based on what's in the King's Council, which is the middle area. And then you also gain points based on the special abilities of each card, which allow you to score bonus points. So it's really about maximizing and trying to get the highest score that you can in the uh, number of rounds that are available to you. Herald also seems to have some great achievements that uh, entice you to play single player and online, as well as a tutorial and a leaderboard that you can see how you've done against other players during uh, the given amount of time. And a tutorial, as I mentioned, along with a rule book if you want to read through. The tutorial did pretty well in teaching everything, though a first game after doing the tutorial really helped. Along with that, it features the online system from Asmodee Digital, so you can use your same login to play online with others. I had not heard of Herald before playing the digital version, but I managed to pick it up pretty quickly, and the art is just amazing, and the design of this app is pretty well done. It's very self-contained and maybe not the flashiest app around. There's not, it's not as full featured as some other Asmodee published apps, but that being said, the core gameplay is really fun, and the way it shows you the information via the UI is really useful and really easy to follow. I really enjoy this game because each game feels different to me. While it uses a basic number of components, the way the combinations come out each turn really influence what you're trying to do in each round and how you're trying to complete. I've really missed a game like this, you know, we've been playing some heavy, more heavy Euros and things like that lately, but a game like this where really each situation uh, is unique and you need to adapt to it is really welcome to have back on digital platforms. I've really enjoyed my time with Harold so far and look forward to playing more with it. It does seem like a fun little pick up and play game against the AI and I'm looking forward to jumping online and competing with some of you. So be sure to check out Harold, which is available right now from Asmodee Digital on the App Store and uh, Google Play and is $1.99. So take a look.